question. How can you train for an ultra distance mountain race and a flat fast road marathon at the same time? Actually scratch that, is it possible to train for multiple ultra distance mountain races back to back and then two flat road marathons in quick succession? The answer to that depends on what your goals are. Sure, if all you want to do is finish each race, then you've got every chance. But if you really want to perform at one or more of these events, then you've got your work cut out. I arrived at the 2022 London Marathon off the back of a very busy summer of running. My main training block got me to the start line of the Lakeland 100 in July a 100 mile race around the Lake District with 5,000 metres of elevation gain. For the rest of the summer, there was no time for another training block, it was simply a case of recovering as much as possible before the next event. In August, after three years of trying, I finally completed the TDS in Chamonix, France. A race well over the official 145 kilometre distance with 9,000 metres of ascent. Then, in September, it was up to Scotland for the Ben Nevis Ultra, 53 kilometres with 4,000 metres of climbing, followed a week later by the Berlin Marathon in Germany. I was tired with aching legs in Berlin, but foolishly I decided to set out on a sub three hour marathon pace. It didn't go well. I ended up slowing almost every mile until the finish. So when I lined up in London, I was determined to be more disciplined. The problem was I really wanted to try for a good for age qualification time for London next year. This would mean finishing faster than 3 hours 15 minutes. Whilst I knew this was still a risk, I considered it a risk worth taking. So I've really messed up. I was supposed to put my predicted finish time on my application for Good For Age for London and I neglected to do so which means I've been put in wave 14 wave 14 which is miles back, it doesn't start for an hour yet Starting so far back would mean spending the entire race dodging and weaving through thousands of runners I asked at the information point where one official actually suggested I jump into an earlier wave. So that's exactly what I did. I would still have to wind my way through the crowds, but just not for quite so long. Welcome to Film My Run. This is the start line of the London Marathon. Uh, I think we're, what wave are we in? Six. Wave six. Wave six. I have no idea what wave we're in. We're in wave six. We are about to start London Marathon 2022. Let's go, let's have fun, let's enjoy this. Okay, here we go. London Marathon. There are actually three start lines at the London Marathon, red, green and blue. Charity runners and those successful in the ballot go from the red start. Celebrities and some good for age runners go from the green start, which is the smallest start line. And the blue start is a mix of ballot, good for age and the elite runners. Waves set off at five minute intervals and I quickly found myself in the no man's land between blue waves five and six. So the weird thing is, because I'm accidentally in a wave much further back than I should be, we're kind of right at the front of this wave. So there's like nobody here. We're on our own. <laughs> it's like I'm in the lead of the London Marathon. I bet you've never seen the streets of London so deserted on London Marathon Day. Four and a half K in, this is where we join all the red start runners. So this is blue start, red start is over the other side there and we're now gonna merge. My pacing strategy was to run at four minutes, 35 seconds per kilometer, which if I kept it up, would get me to the finish in around three hours, 14 minutes. 5K in just under 23 minutes. And we're on the downhill, it's big downhill at the early start of London. The London Marathon is generally flat, but it's not pan flat. The course has been tweaked slightly in recent years to get rid of a few lumps around Canary Wharf, but overall it's flatter than Paris, but not as flat as Berlin. 46 minutes at 10k. We're in Greenwich, we're just about to pass 
the Cutty Sark. So this is Cutty Sark. All we'll wave to the cameras live on TV. We're not live on TV because they're following the leaders, aren't they? Congestion was now becoming an issue as I lamented to my clubmate Andrew as I passed him. This is ridiculous, Andrew. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's shit. Can't get a rhythm, can you? Uh, it's absolutely crazy. Well, you might catch me up when I die a death at halfway. Uh, well, I'll be <laughs> Just past 15 kilometres in 109.30. Still just about staying on pace for 3.15. But I don't know if my legs are going to tire out. We'll just see what happens, enjoying it. Apart from the fact that I'm weaving in and out of everybody. The pipers piped and my legs kept turning over as we made our way towards Tower Bridge and the 20 kilometre mark. The crowd support as you cross the bridge is a real mental high as you head into the second half of the race. One hour, 33 minutes for 20k over Tower Bridge. Most iconic moment of London Marathon, apart from the finish. Still enjoying myself, still on target, just about. From the Tower of London, the crowds are still immense, but it feels slightly further than you want it to before you hit halfway. That's halfway in 137 and a half. So, yeah, we are only just on target, really. Probably gonna slow down in the second half. Heading into the Isle of Dogs, the support thins out and you're left with a mental battle to reach Canary Wharf. That's 25 kilometers in one hour 56. <laughs> Starting to tire, feeling tired. Legs are stiffening up. But we'll push on, coming through Canary Wharf now. Canary Wharf is where your GPS watch will go haywire. Really starting to suffer now. And where my legs told me they'd had enough. 12 kilometers to go. And it's at two hours 20 or so. Outside Limehouse Town Hall, we found the Run Dem crew. We love the Run Dem crew. <laughs> And a little further on, we found Zach, the extreme DJ Suat, was in the house. Live in your channel, buddy! <laughs> I love that guy. The 3.15 time goal was gone. Good for age qualification was gone for another year. But we were having fun as we made our way back to the Tower of London. So we hit 35 kilometers in 2.45, exactly the same as Berlin. So we've got 45 minutes to do seven kilometers to get under 330. I have done London five times now and this year it seemed like the crowds were more substantial and tumultuous than ever before. As we hit embankments with three miles to go I realized I was going to be very close to my Berlin marathon finish time so I pushed as hard as I could through the tunnel past the London Eye and Westminster Palace. That's 40 kilometers in Three hours, 12 minutes. Looks like we're gonna do the same time as Berlin. Along Birdcage Walk and towards Buckingham Palace, the finish line was within touching distance as I finally turned onto the mall. Coming to the end, three hours, 23. The finish line of the London Marathon is always something special, no matter what time you achieve. 26.2 miles is an iconic distance, just as 100 miles is for ultra runners. So there's the London Marathon medal. This is my fifth London Marathon. Finish time of 3.23. Now I was going for 3.15, but legs just didn't have it. So, but you know, it was expected. I, it, was a, it was a risk again to try and go for 3.15, but um, I'm much more happy with the performance this time because, um, I mean, I did slow. I did slow after 20 miles but it wasn't so much of a slow as it was in Berlin. The race was much more controlled. I felt stronger towards the end. And I got an Abbott age group championship medal. That doesn't mean I've won an age group. It just means I've taken part in the world championships. Chilling out in St. James's Park and making your way slowly to Horse Guards Parade to meet your friends and family is as standard as it gets after completing the London Marathon. 
After chatting with some of my clubmates and drinking everything I could find in my bag, I hobbled slowly along the Mall towards Admiralty Arch. Watching as the sun glinted off hard-earned medals, space blankets fluttered over shoulders, and people took selfies and kissed their medals. So we've made it to Trafalgar Square, uh, just round the corner from the Mall where... So we've made it to Trafalgar Square, just round the corner from the Mall where we finished the race. 3.23, can't complain at that at all minute quicker than last week and uh, we are going to get coffee now uh, do join me again for another film i run next time if you haven't subscribed please go and subscribe to the film i run channel and we'll see you for the next one take care everyone bye bye